Hello friends, hello nerds, welcome to the Nuke Primer where I teach you how to play Nuke. This is more about the team environment rather than the pug environment, although you can incorporate some of this into your pugs. We, uh, T side, is going to be heavily focused on outside smokes, specifically these two. That let you cross from T red to secret, and you're going to throw one extra smoke usually around here to cross two T red so that you know you put pressure on secret. This forces a rotate from CTs to lower if they're not already there, which then allows for some kind of play around the map, whether it's a split to upper through mini and execute through upper, committing down lower, uh, down secret to lower, or whatever else we want to do. Now aside from doing outside smokes and trying to get control of outside, there are other things, other executes you can run. You can run some upper rushes, upper executes through the uh, skylights here, or you can just get ramp control in replacement or in conjunction with getting secret control. From the CT side of things, it's basically defending these potential attacks. It's not really anything to explain here. You do want to focus a little bit towards outside because this is where a good amount of action should be taking place. If not, you are going to be hearing a lot of things going on in lobby and in radio right here. So just get ready for whatever pressure that T's are going to throw at you. And biggest thing for playing CT side is knowing that you can give ramp pretty freely and just play the lower bomb site from there. Now going through utility, there's two different ways that I know of that you can throw these outside smokes. There are different ways to throw a different set of outside smokes to get different amount of control, but for the purposes of learning nuke from the start or a bit from scratch, we're going to focus on the T red to secret smoke wall. So for the first smoke, you're going to stand in the back left corner of the truck here. You're going to aim at the bottom left corner of this window frame here, and then jump throw. That's going to fly for a while and will eventually land over here. The second smoke is in between these concrete dividers. You're going to stand on the in front of the back one. Aim at the center of this rectangle and then up until you're a little bit above this AC unit over there. Now if you are playing on higher settings, you'll see a vent over here. You can aim at the height of that instead, at the top of it. And that's going to be the second smoke. So let's fast forward a bit. Let's throw that smoke I just threw over here along with this one here. And these should be your outside smokes, allowing you to cross, like I mentioned, T-Red to Secret. For the cross to T-Red, you just have to run along this wall here and aim at this tip of the fencing and left click throw. It's pretty general, you can't really mess it up. And I wouldn't be too concerned about this cross, this is a, usually a pretty tight angle for T's, or for CTs to pick. But the later you throw it, the more um, it'll cover that specific angle here. So from here, it's really about how you want to go into secret, if at all. You can send four people walking down secret. You can send four people running down secret. You can send two people lurking down secret, clearing out the stairs and then this uh, container area here. And putting pressure on these uh, angles here, specifically here and here. And then we can wrap back into an upper hit, or we can just split upper through mini through... Uh, door and hut you know we have a lot of options once we get secret control and that's why it's so important to take it as a T it's kind of like taking mid on Mirage taking um, cat on bus 2 it gives you a lot of options to do something else and it's not just like a straight hit into a bomb site now that's not to say we shouldn't be just going straight into a bomb site it's definitely a viable option and I will show you some utility for that in a second but I forgot to show you the other smokes. Now these are a different variation of the same smokes that I just showed you, the jump throw uh, outside smokes. You're still going to be throwing this running smoke over here because that's pretty pretty standard, pretty simple. Um, for this one, you're going to stand in between this pipe and the marshmallow. You're going to aim at a little bit to the left of this um, pipe here, like under the pipe. And then you're going to hit both mouse buttons 
and then let go at the same time. So this is a medium throw. And that's gonna smoke close B red. First or first smoke, whatever you wanna call it. Now the second smoke, you can stand on this line right here on the pipe and aim at the top corner of this pipe here and a little bit up, maybe up to the height of that roof over there and left click throw. And that's gonna do the second part of the wall there. So let's re-throw that and then let's throw this. And that'll be an outside smoke across as well. Very, very slight gap here, but most teams don't really play close to the smokes just because you could just get flanked from uh, Marshmallow up here. Now the biggest counter to these smokes, at least for these lineups, is a Molotov that lands right here. CTs can look up here in the sky for the um, smokes to come over, and when they see that they can throw this molly and it'll mess up the cross smokes. So we do have to be worried about that technically, but as with anything, you don't worry about it until they show you that they have the capability of doing it. So let's say for example, we always throw these smokes, but the CTs never throw this molly here, then I would never be worried about this. As you can see, that kind of fucked up my, my smoke. So just keep that in mind as you cross, keep an eye out right here to see where the smokes are, and if there isn't a smoke here, we can try to throw another one, or we can just uh, fight through the smoke, and we'll see what happens off of that based on scrims and whatever. Anyway, back to the upper executes is the only real execute we can throw. We can't do like a lower execute without getting down vent. So for one, make sure these skylights are broken. The biggest, or the most important ones are obviously the front four. So one, two, three, four. And then this one back here. And to break this one, you can just get on top of this little dome here and shoot for the roofing here. So for heaven, you can stand on this line here. And then you're going to find this steel beam in the background and move over to the left until you hit the very first diagonal little support structure over there. And then you're going to left click throw. That's going to be a good heaven smoke. Again, make sure the skylight is broken because if you don't break it, it will mess up your smoke. This mini smoke is very complicated to line up, but once you get it, it's not too bad. But anyway, let's go through it. You're going to stand in this corner of T-Roof, hugging the pipe in the wall. You're going to find this vertical line here, and you're going to aim a little bit above where it meets this curve here. You're then going to move your crosshair to the right until your crosshair is just a little bit away from the right edge of the pipe. So it's something like this. Now, without moving your mouse, you're going to hit backwards and right if you want to, but just move backwards until you're in this corner here, and then you're going to hit your left click without moving your mouse. So you back up to this corner here, and you're going to throw. And this is your mini smoke. So again... Stand in this corner, vertical line with this curve, out to the right until you're a little bit out from it, move back, and then let the throw. You can throw a top hut molly standing a little bit on the left side of this uh, dome here. You're going to aim somewhere in the bottom right corner of the skylight, and then walk forward and throw. This is going to molly top hut and it might even spread to the hut boxes right here. It might spread into hut around here, but um, that's okay. It'll only take like 10 damage from it at most. So let's throw that out again. And then just walk forward and throw. You can throw a solo execute for upper, whoops. On top of marshmallow, you're gonna stand on the paint this corner of the paint right there. Uh, you are safe from outside because no one can really see you from over there, so you're fine. Again, make sure that skylight back there is broken and these ones as well. 
You're going to aim at the top of this support cage over here and to the right until you're at the outermost curve and left click throw. That's going to be a smoke for heaven. You're then going to aim on this bar right here on the tip of the roof. It's one bar to the right of the there one bar to the left of the right edge and then you're going to left click throw. And then from there you can jump throw a flash like that aiming at the bucket and that should land inside the other bomb site. So that's your smoke. It's a little deep, but I think it's still pretty good. This molly is going to spread into this god spot here and a little bit into the top hut and the flash I needed to aim a little bit higher, but the point is that it will blind people inside of upper. Last piece of utility is a really nice flash for upper. Again, make sure that the skylights are broken. You're going to stand against the fence here, making this part of the wall flat. It doesn't have to be too precise, but preferably flat. Now, looking at the wall here, you're going to see these bars. And aiming right to left, you're going to see one, two, three. You're going to aim three bars, starting from the right, moving to the left, and aiming at the level of these dots here. From here, you're going to run forward and jump throw when your crosshair hits the tip of this door right here. Oops. So one, two, three on the dots, run forward, jump throw. And if you do this really early, this is going to bind everyone upper, allowing forward people to come out hook. So you can pair this with um, a fast explosion outdoor where you made the door open, smoke in a mini, and then flash into far vent or even flash into mini as well. So with the door blown off, let's do that. Coming into lobby, made the door, smoke in a mini, and then flash here. This is a really fast explosion into the A-bomb site, and with potentially that flash through the skylight here and people coming out hut, this could be a very strong pistol round strat or even an anti-eco strat. Now we've talked a lot about the T side, let's move on to the CT side. There's not too much to talk about here aside from setups and rotations. And that's pretty simple to understand just by virtue of being on the CT side. Ideally, in my opinion, keywords, my opinion, you want one person in garage around here holding this pick here, uh, preferably with a sniper. A lot of op battles will happen around here, give or take. You're going to have one person somewhere in mini with a rifle. He's going to be worried about people coming out door early and also somewhat worried about outside given the person in garage's contact. You also will be able to hear people dropping onto mini from marshmallows or red rock as I call it. So you do want to make sure you can hear people dropping top mini and play around it if you need to. One person should be going heaven right away. Um, whether or not you want to drop floor is up to you, but know that dropping floor is a commitment in itself, so keep that in mind. You also want to be worried about fast plays out of hut, so you might want to molly hut right away. Something along the lines of this. Finally, we're going to have two people ramp early in the round. Um, smoking the choke pine off early is a very good idea. Throwing a molly in place of that is also a good idea. And having two people here early will defend any ramp rushes. And if they decide to go outside or if they decide to hit upper, we can get a flank into lobby through ramp. Or we can push into lower into secret. Preferably trying to get into this space here along these stairs. From there, it's just about figuring out what they're doing, where they are, and ideally we push for info at some point in the round, especially if we're down numbers or if they have control of some other part of the map. Now speaking of pushes, one really strong eco strat that I've called numerous times in multiple versions of Counter-Strike is the lobby crunch. Basically, you're going to push whatever spot you usually hold, except for the outside player who's going to come either hut or door depending on what he feels like. So this would look like two people just coming down really quickly and going straight into hut and pushing, flash optional. 
you can have one person door you can not have one person door and make it three hut that's really up to you guys it's not too important and then we're gonna have two people pushing lobby right away again flash optional but you're gonna push you're basically gonna be pressuring ramp here you're gonna be pressuring out hut here and fighting anyone in this general area I probably should have done this in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to go through certain callouts that I specifically have for spots, whether or not other people have different callouts or whatever is, you know, we can always adapt to what our callouts are going to be. So obviously outside we have red or T red, we have blue or CT blue. I've heard people call this credit card. I don't know why, but I think of something else when we say credit card. Uh, so if I say blue, he's going to be somewhere in this box area here. Uh, single, which is this box right here, single box. Spawn box is way over here. Some people will play up here like this. <clears throat> um, obviously we have hell here, locker is right here, kind of obvious. This is heaven. This particular area is heaven. And I'm going to call this lane right here Rafter. So this whole lane is Rafter. I'm going to call this lane opposite. And I'm going to call this lane here Mustang. Must. Oh, you don't. You can't see me type Mustang like the car. Why? I don't know. I've just. This is what I'm. <laughs> this is what I've heard. This is what some people know. And that's what we're going with. I'm going to call this particular spot right here God Spot because this angle here is really insanely difficult for T's to clear. Coming out hut, you're worried about so many other things, and coming out door, you don't really look here in general. You can't be seen from mini. It's a pretty good spot. Obviously, we have garage here. This is mini. This is marshmallow, as I've mentioned throughout the video, or red rock. I might instinctively call it red rock because old habits die hard. Being on top of this metal grating here is going to be called blacktop um, because this top used to be black, so we call it blacktop. This is radio. Again, old habits die hard. There used to be a radio here. I've also heard this being called trophy room because there are trophies, trophies over here. Uh, same idea. Ramp. Willer. Uh, we can call this shadow or emo, kind of like on Inferno, the back right corner of B. Single. Also, decon or sink. Okay, so I usually call it by the doors, but, you know, whatever you want to do is fine. Uh, secret doors, obviously these doors. Secret refers to more so this area here. It kind of depends on the context. Like, if they're in secret, they're in this general area here. Uh, back vent is this area here because it's on the back side of the vents. We have control, control room, uh, just because there's a bunch of control bullshit here in the windows. Door, hut, silo. Far vent or Asian vent is this vent here because it's far away from the vent. I call this particular corner blizzard. I don't know why, but like Blizzard, like the company that makes StarCraft and WoW and Diablo. And this is Lobby, Lobby Entrance right here. And that's about all the new callouts. I'm pretty sure, yep. So for a quick TLDR, or if you were too lazy to watch the whole thing, this map is heavily based on outside control because it allows you to go into secret, force rotates into lower, and abuse CT rotations. You don't necessarily have to go for outside control all the time. You can execute upper through the skylights here, or utility through the skylights here. You can take ramp in conjunction or in replacement of secret control or outside control. And you basically want to force rotates into lower so that you can have more flexibility taking other parts of the map. On the CT side of things, obviously you need to kind of guess your rotates and try to play around information. Pushing on this part of the map or on this map in general is usually a decent idea 
SMG for spies are very, very strong on nuke in particular because of the close range angles like here, pushing hut, radio, etc. So get ready for a lot of force buys. On both sides really, get ready for a lot of force buys and just close angles. But again, make sure you learn your utility because not being able to throw outside smokes cuts off a huge portion of the T side of nuke. So anyway, thanks for watching and please actually watch this video again.